Okay, no, at the moment. No, we do not. All right, we are live. Thank you everyone for joining us for our public hearing, um, virtual public hearing uh, for October 18th uh, at seven o'clock. For tonight's items, we have three items on the agenda, but let me uh, prior introduce my colleagues. We have uh, Councilman James Sanchez, we have uh, Councilman John Gale. We have uh, Councilwoman Shirley Surgeon. We have Majority Leader TJ Clark. We have Madam President uh, Mally Rosado. We have uh, our town clerk, uh, Mr. Noel McGregor. And we have Mr. Uh, Chris McKelvey uh, representing uh, the Knox Foundation. So with that being said, there has no one that's been uh, signed up for today's meeting, but I'm going to read the three items. The first item uh, is uh, Mayor Bronin with the accompanying resolution approving the disposition of the following parcels to the Hartford Area Habitat for Humanity. Uh, the second uh, item 2.2, with the company resolution authorizing the mayor subject to review and approval of a term sheet for the project to enter to a purchase and sales agreement and ground lease with the development team of Wonderworks Construction Corp. And item 2.3 with the company resolution authorizing the mayor subject to review and approval of a term sheet for the project to enter into a development agreement and ground lease with the development team of Wonderworks Construction Corp. But with that being said, I'm also going to read the rules for tonight's meeting. Uh, public hearings shall be conducted in accordance with the following procedures. Each person wishing to address the council or committee thereof shall upon recognition by the presiding officer give his or her name, address, and if he or she represents a group, in addition, state for the record the name and address of said group or organization shall limit his or her remarks to five minutes. All remarks shall be addressed to the council as a body and not to any member thereof. Any person making personal, impertinent, or slanderous remarks or who becomes boisterous while addressing the council shall be forthwith barred by the presiding officer from further audience at said meeting unless position, permission to remain is granted by a two thirds vote of the council members present and voting. During the public hearing, there shall be no debate by the council, although questions may be asked by council of persons making such presentations. Is there anyone here speaking in favor of any of these items? Is there anyone here speaking in favor of any of these items twice? Is there anyone here speaking in favor of any of these items? That's three times. Is there anyone here speaking against any of these items? Again, is there anyone here speaking against any of these items? And for a third time, is there anyone here speaking against these any of these items? All right, seeing no one here to speak on behalf of any of these items, um, I don't think I have to take a motion to adjourn, right? No? All right. Well, everyone, have a great evening. Have a good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye.